What's up everybody and my dear manners, welcome, welcome, it's time for another 1-1-1 to Grandmaster Challenge episode, episode number 3. I'm very happy that you guys uh, have welcomed so far this challenge and felt that it's a fun one to, to watch and uh, you, you like the, the way that I'm doing it, so I'm happy to hear that. I also asked uh, you about like your StarCraft journey, I, I had a very big... Uh, comment section in the previous episodes. So I thank you for that. I learned that most of you guys are actually diamond I would say uh, a lot of you just watch I uh, like to watch Starcraft But used to play but you quit some time ago And I think all is fine if you're an active player or if you're just a watcher uh, Whatever we all love Starcraft here And that's what matters the most uh, quick introduction, uh, obviously here are the rules of the challenge to, to, to post them. I can only make one type of unit from uh, each production facility, one type of unit from the gateway, one type of unit from the robotics facility, one type of unit from the stargate, which is the 1-1-1 one, one, one challenge. Based on what's happening in the game, I will choose the kind of units that I feel are the best, I will try to teach you my thought process, what is happening, what should I do. Stalkers are completely excluded from the challenge because I have only... because I have played with Stalkers only two Grandmaster and Reach Grandmaster, so it will be just unfair. Uh, quickly, back into the game actually, because we can see there's a, a lack of uh, Gas Geyser in here. Uh, ideally, I would like to have a Stalker versus this, uh, but I think... I, I, it's, it's gonna be a little bit boring, but I think Adept is here uh, the best unit that I can choose. Simply because if I go for a Zealot now, the Reaper will arrive and kill a lot of probes before I can get another unit out. So what I will do is choose the Adept for defending the early game aggression here. You can see there's a factory at home, which means the factory will not be placed on the other side of the map. Oh, he makes a cheeky bunker here. That's actually... Huh. Can he make it work? I don't think he can, right? That's a very interesting position. The barracks is super close. Let's try to micro the probes as much as we can. In the meantime, he will lose the SCV. Not the best micro with the Reaper here. If he loses the Reaper, it's actually super bad for him. It's very bad. So, yeah, I what I think. Also, one of the comments that uh, was in the in the previous uh, comment section uh, to try to comment on what the opponent could do better in this situation. Uh, or in certain situations. So, well, first of all, not lose a Reaper to the Adept. He's gonna lose the Reaper again, I think. And then the Bunker here is cheeky. Like, if it goes up, sure, it's cool and all, but I can all I can also just make a shield battery here in the main base and the Reaper will not do much. Uh, let me just defend this real quick. Oh my god, he actually got two probes now. Good micro with the Reaper. Oh, let's, let's block it here. So that's why you have this kind of wall off in here. So like you can you can block the the reaper from going from one side to the, to the other. No, okay, that third reaper was very bad. Uh, I'm gonna choose Phoenix as my second unit uh, from the target. So it's gonna be Adept Phoenix, and I'll still wait on the robotics facility unit. I think a bunker in the natural base would be more fitting. He can put a reaper behind the middle wall, and I'm forced to put a shield battery in the natural, instead of the main base. He could also deny my mining from the natural for a little bit. It was just too eager to get a bunker in the main base, that was just not good. Anyway, what we want to uh, do now is to maybe wait for the medvac to show up, because we could see he opened up with a double gas in here and the factory at home. That means the pressure will keep on coming. The big concern for me is that he has made three reapers he found a little bit of damage, little bit of damage with the Reaper. He killed like two probes or something like that. And that's not a lot. So it's either going to be like a big all-in from him. Oh, he didn't lift the barracks up. So I don't think it's an all-in. I don't think it's an all-in. Unless he wants to go mech. So let's move across the map with the Phoenixes. Let's see what we can find. If he has expanded, that's good for us because we have a faster expansion. There's an engineering bay. There's an expansion, so let's lift the SCV. There's a cyclone. And the widow mine. Oh, where was it? Where's the widow mine? Oh, it's here! 
Wow! Okay, this guy is actually big, big brain. He hid it under the, the, the Terran decal in here, or whatever it's called. I don't know, the, the, the picture. I absolutely missed it. Well done by him. Okay, so he already has an armory as well, which kind of gives me an idea that he wants to play either mech. Hmm. Mech or Widow Mind Drop with, with the cloak, but I, I think he would not go for a second. He wants to go for the Widow Mind Drop. Let's keep in mind there could be more. Widow. Okay, there we go. There's the mech. So we have many factories here. Phoenix and Adepts are going to be wonderful versus this. So what I want to do is not to lose the Phoenixes up on the other side of the map for sure. I already have Adepts. Like, Adepts are not that great versus mech. Phoenixes are good. Oh, wait, I, I wanted to make an immortal. I need to make a very good choice of what to make from the robotics facility. I think that's going to be a crucial. I think Immortals are going to be very good. But because it's mech... Hmm. Should I go Disruptors or Immortals versus this? Because if I go Immortals, I can maybe deal with the Taurs, possibly, later on. Disruptors are going to be too hit and miss. I think I need to go for Immortals. I'll choose Immortals in this situation because it's mech. I was thinking about Disruptors, but I thought like the mobility of, of the Disruptors is going to be a big problem, so... We're kind of making like a Phoenix Immortal... semi-episode here. Maybe I should change it to Disruptors. Okay, let's change it to Disruptors, I, I, because I'm already making like a Phoenix Immortal... to Grandmaster series. So let's not copy... Copy this in here. Okay, I kind of missed macro there. Let's uh, go for the disruptors in the meantime with triple robo. We need to uh, take care of the widomites that are going to be borrowed. In the meantime, obviously, I have expanded to the other side of the map. Uh, let's get a forge and a twilight council as well. Or economy is so good. Let's see. Oh, there's tors. Okay. Uh, okay, phoenixes can deal with the tors. Immortals can. Disruptors can. But I need three disruptors. To one shot the tour. Can I get enough time? I do believe he's going to be walking out. The, the tours are going to be a big problem, to be honest. Let's get a lot of batteries. Let's put some spotter pylons out on the map. Get the triple disruptor production. That's going to be super useful. Get plus one and the adept upgrade. He's already moving out. I don't have the disruptors yet. This is a very scary attack. Let's get more batteries, to be honest. I think he's going to be attacking from this side. This is a very scary attack before I have the disruptors. But I think before he arrives and deals critical amounts of damage, the disruptors will be out. And the battery will buy me enough time. Let's see, okay, he's attacking. He's gonna be borrowing some mines. Okay. And big shots. Uh, uh, a little bit of micro. Big battery. Wait, I lost the. I think I have. I have severely missed micro this game, uh, this game or this match. It's fine. Like I don't feel I'm too threatened here, to be honest. Okay, two doors still alive, but we have another disruptor. Adept versus Disruptors, you don't see that every day. Let's go on the other side of the map, to be honest. I have so much money. Man, this is actually a, a composition that is so hard to play with. Not gonna lie. It's very hard to control. Because I think you, you need to control both Adepts, Disruptors and Phoenixes individually. But to do it all at the same time... It's, oh, it does a wood of mine. I think it's very difficult. But luckily, the Disruptors can one-shot the, the Taurus if I have three of them. So it takes three Disruptor shots to one-shot a Taur. There was a Widow Mine here. So we, we want to clear that with... Hello. We want to clear that with the Disruptor. There we go, there's the Widow Mine. You can see this little little thing. It's gonna explode and now I can expand here. We kill the Widow Mine. Let's get lots more gateways right now, to be honest. Hmm. I don't need more Phoenix production because he's making Taurus. Taurus super good versus Phoenixes. Phoenix is completely useless. I 
have what? Six disruptors? Eight disruptors. We can definitely walk across the map. Oh, there's a widow mine. Mm. Actually, I can. Oh, I don't have detection. It's a cloak widow mine. We can make a cannon though. Oh! Wow. Okay, it's gonna be very difficult right now to see. Mech is actually so strong. Oh, there's a widow mine. I didn't see it. I can't see it without, without an observer. I will just send an adept forward here, I think. Never mind. Okay, we can send some of the adepts on the other side of the map. Okay, we killed. Oh, there's siege tanks. Uh, fun fact siege tanks can be outranged by the disruptor. Oh. By slightly, slightly outranged uh, by the disruptors. But you need to like really calculate the division and the splash damage of the Nova. You cannot really do much here. We can like kill the wall of quite handily. No, no. It's quite scary. The siege tanks are very well defended. Can I just come here to the third? I don't need to go to the natural. What am I trying to do? Like, I have so much money in the meantime. Disruptors! Oh, he has anti armor. What? That's crazy. I was like trying to break the natural, in the meantime, I just realized that. He doesn't have much at the third base. <laughs> what a fun composition to play with, actually. Phoenix Adept Disruptor. I mean, versus Mech. It's great. Hey! Uh, no! No! Oh my god, I'm killing my own Adepts! Oh, what am I doing? I tell you, like, it's super hard to, do, to control these units. Extremely hard. Okay, let's kill the siege tanks here. Ooh, it takes two disruptor shots to kill a tank, three disruptor shots to kill a Tor. Oh, well, Liberators. Hello. Restart the Phoenix production again. Can't really kill the, the, uh, the Liberators here. Mm. Can kill the Raven. He has nothing to kill the Phoenixes, though. So let's just go. Oh, there's a Missile Turret and the Widow Mine. This is a bit over eager, I think. Ah, oh, GG. He leaves the game anyway. I did not expect to play versus Mech in the first game of today, but uh, it all made sense that he's going to play Mech, right? Like we saw the proxy barracks, uh, we saw that he didn't lift it back to at home, so that means there's no marine production or he's not making steam or anything like that. So it only makes sense that he's going to play uh, Mech after that. So we scouted that, we confirmed it, and I'm glad that we made the Scepter versus the Taurus. The Immortals would be good as well, but again, I didn't really want to use Phoenix Immortal with Adepts because I'm already making Phoenix Immortal. A PvP on Stargazers. I feel like we play so often PvPs on Stargazers and we play a little bit of PvZs and very rarely we play a PvT on this map. I think Protesters really like this and not a lot of Protesters do veto this map. Oh, and also uh, one other thing about my YouTube journey. Uh, I got a donation by a, by a fan saying, hey, I would like to support you on YouTube Super Thanks. And I had no idea what it is. So it turns out you can guys like support me, like under the video there's like a thanks button or something like that. I didn't even know this existed. So I turned it on and turns out you can kind of like support me and there's going to be like a beautiful comment if you, if you do support me through Super Thanks. So yeah, if there's one person who wants to test it out, I, I have no idea how this is going to look like. But yeah, if, if you want to support me through that, I would greatly appreciate to just test it out. How it looks like. It will be a super tanks. It's a weird weird name for that. It's like, I guess it's like somewhat of a... It's not necessarily a subscription, like on Twitch. I'm not sure what exactly that is. It's just a, just a I guess, appreciation for the content creator. We'll see how it works. But yeah, just, just a slight mention about that. I uh, just wanted to let you know, I did turn it on. So if you're more familiar with YouTube game than I am... Oh my god! 
Canon uh, raz. Do I make a zealot? I'm making zealots from the gateway. Making zealots from the gateway. Uh, we do defend. I was so busy talking about that. Uh, I'm gonna make a Stargate. Stargate. <gasps> Proxy Stargate. We can do it. Wait. He, he lost the probe. He lost the probe. Um, I'll buy enough time with the Zealot. In the meantime. Oh, he wants to make a wall of here. No, 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 no. Don't let him. Don't let him. Don't let him. Please. We can't let him. Well, I can't make anything out of the gateway anymore. I can make more Zealots. This is fine. This is fine. From the Stargate, I'll make Void Rays. And Void Ray is the perfect counter to that. So what he can do with these cannons, he can kill my pylon in a gateway. Oh, uh, let's send two probes here, actually. I should send a Zealot there, though, to be honest. I should have made sent a Zealot there. Let's just send it. The other one. Uh, I think I'll send one of the probes. The expand okay, this is somewhat clever. I mean I could just take this expansion then. Let's see, he's gonna make a cannon. I'll just make a battery here. Pylon. I don't know if it's going to be on time though. I think I'll, I'll just make a second stargate. Here let's see if we can do something with the the zealot. So he's not really reaching to my nexus. So I'm not to worry, he has invested a lot here. That's a lot of probes, plus 100 middles on the pylon, 150 on the cannon. Okay, so we cannot do any anything here. Let's just take a gold expansion. I'll recall the probes from the main base to the gold. Hmm. So it's gonna be Zealot Void Ray for the time being from the 111. Let's see if he has a cannon at home. Maybe I can kill it in time. I think the Zealot should be able to kill this cannon before the Zealot dies. But it's gonna be real close. I think. So the battery... Oh, he's actually in range of the, of the probes. Let's see. It's gonna be close. Okay, he actually cancels it. So he doesn't want to lose it. Oh, I should be making a pylon as well. He makes a cyber core. I think he's super dead now. My, by the way, if you have a probe with a Zealot, you can two-shot the probes. Oh, oops. You can two-shot the probes, because it takes three zealot shots to kill a probe, but with a, with a probe, as you can see, it's a, it's a two-shot. The additional damage of the probe does uh, neglect it. Or does improve it, I should say. Not neglect it. Okay. I think that Voidoy should really win us the game. To be honest, I could even recall the Voidoy and def defend at home. But I think no matter what I do, it's gonna be a great situation, so let's just recall a lot of the probes. That's a lot of probes recalled. Jesus Christ, I misclicked a recall. Can you believe this? I played this game professionally, by the way. Okay, but there's nothing he can do against the Voidway anyway here. So hello, hello. Let's just kill the pylon, because in, in case he wants to make a stalker, yeah, there's just nothing. So. <laughs> Ideally, I would like to recall a little bit more pros to the gold base, but it's okay. He had nothing to deal with the Voidway anyway. And yet another Protoss versus Protoss from Masters already versus Drift Toss. So yeah, this was how you can defend the Cannon Rush. If you use Zealots to delay the cannons from uh, popping up behind your middle line and you proxy the Voidway on the other side of the map, there is a very good chance you can actually win. I actually do want to start with Zealots for PvP to make it a little bit more spicy here. I uh, like in pretty much all instances I would start with an Adept versus Protoss because it just gives me more map control, more pressure on him, like counter attack and so on. But later on in the game, the Zealots are going to be more useful. So I want to survive with a Zealot and see if we can do. To make it uh, more safe for me, I will probably choose an Immortal. An immortal from the robotics facility for this game, but yeah, obviously it all depends 
what we are going to be facing. That was a relatively early probe sent to us, I think. This could be yet another cannon rush, but let's see. So I want to start with a one gate. Oh, it's a second probe. That's definitely a cannon rush. No, no way. Oh, okay, okay. He thinks I am the one cannon rushing. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So let's start with the one gate expansion. Because both Zealous and Robotics tech is fairly cheap, I feel somewhat confident in defending that. Wait! I need something to deal with an anti-air as well. So I guess I'm gonna need to go for the Void Ray from the Stargate, depending obviously what my opponent is doing. His second guess is slightly delayed. So I, I'm not expecting to be Stargate. The second guess should be already done and mining, if he will be looking for a Stargate. So I believe he's either making a big, big mistake or, or it's all calculated. But considering this guy's only 4k MMR or so, or so, or his master, so maybe it is somewhat calculated. He's kind of boosting out both gateways, I'm gonna guess. We need to start the Zealot. Actually, if he starts with a death, it's gonna be very problematic for us. Why is he sending the probes? He doesn't want me to sh- Oh! Uh, I mean, sure, I get, I get that he wants to deny my scouting, but... Pulling four probes? Not not the play. Not the play there. It's just too expensive. Let's start warp gate. I do believe this is going to be adept. He hasn't shown me anything and I believe he wants to put pressure on me. Uh, I'm gonna make a pylon to block his expansion. So right now, I will not pull probes to the natural base because I'm in danger of dying. It is the two adepts. Let's make a pylon here, actually, because battery has a lower amount of HP. So Zealous is not very good here. I was a bit afraid of this. This is the exact problem of the early game with Zealous. But maybe we can make it work. I'll work. I'll try to work some magic. Uh, one thing that really worries me is that there was a scouting probe in my base, right? We, we remember that. And that probe is nowhere to be seen. So he's either proxying yet another gateway Or he's proxying a Stargate, which is also very possible. Because he has started with Adepts. I need to make a battery here. I'm a bit stuck here. Mm. I kind of want to kill it. Kill the pylon. No, this is not a good shade, no? We need to re-wall again. But now we can actually mine from the natural. There's a third stalker quite randomly appearing. There's still no expansion. But also another problem for me is that I do not have a pylon on the low ground to have batteries defend me. Mm. Oh, there's there's a pylon or a gateway behind in the base here. He has a lot of adepts. So void race should be... Okay, he's coming back. He's coming back. Okay, that's good. Now we need to locate what exactly he's going to be doing. He's coming back with the Stalkers and possibly the Adepts as well. Let's see if there's a Pylon or if that was just a Mist Shade. It was a Mist Shade. Please, don't, don't blow, oh, come on, what the f- That immortal man, it's a traitor. I'm so angry now. Okay, we have the Void Ray, so we should be safe against the air attack. We have the Zealots to intercept here. The adapt. Okay, let's block it or kill it, whatever. All right, so we have the composition for today. Oh well, for for this game, not today. The Zealot Immortal Void Ray <laughs> for PvP. Um, is this the correct call? I have so much Chrono Boost, by the way. Oh my god. I was so worried. Okay, let's see. If this could be like we still haven't seen any kind of tech option from my opponent. There's, there was no Oracle, there was no Blink, or there was no Warpism, no Observer or anything. So that gives me a vibe of Dark Templars. It's the most common... Uh, what is it called? Most common tech choice, if you don't see anything for, uh, for the longest time. Four gates. This should be Twilight Council for sure. Five gates? What? Uh, N plus one? Wait, he must have an expansion then, no? 
Let's harass him with the Void Rays. How does he have so much? There's the expansion, he's warping in. There's no way it's his first expansion, no? We need to scout, there, there must be a ninja base. There must be a ninja base, or just a third base. Let's find it. I don't believe this. Let's see if he took a third base, or if it's in, somewhere in the corners. He already moved out with the stalkers. No ninja? No way! Really? Here? Here? <gasps> hey! Come on, bro! Okay, he's gonna lose the pylon here. Hello? Prismatic, please? Nice blink, actually. Oh, he's gonna lose the stalkers. The two void rays are pretty good in this situation. Oh, he's gonna recall. Uh, I should probably recall too. I'm gonna lose the void ray. I'm gonna lose it. He's gonna blink forward. Okay, I have so much money. Jesus. Macro, macro, macro. I think he just made this many gauges because he had so much money that he couldn't spend. I'm not sure. I don't see any expansions, so... He's not... Uh, he he's not very well economic. He's no he's he is not well set economically. Apologies for the stutter. Let's see. Chronobus not the probes. Okay, I want to start a zealot production right now. Plenty of them and a forge, so we can kind of try to overpower. Oh oops oops oops! oops. I forgot about you. I'm sorry, man. Robo, so he's afraid of DTs. Mm, I should definitely have already a third base. Let's just take uh, the one in the pocket Because it's just safer and he's more mobile than us. He, remember he does have blink. I do not have blink I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm playing very poorly this game uh, macro wise That's because I was a little bit confused of what exactly he's going to do So he's catching up economically. He's actually far ahead in the third base department I have a much stronger army. No, 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 come on. How about we split some units? You think he's going to blink down? Can we catch it? I don't know, this is the right call by me. This is not enough. Okay, this is bad for him. He should invite the void race here. Well, this is like a pr pretty good cleanup for him. Uh, maybe it was okay. I think it's an even trade, to be honest. But I still maintain some of my tech units. And he he just gave up his entire uh, map control. With the amount of stalkers he had left after the models, he, could, he should just blink back. And continue uh, putting pressure on me. Not necessarily fight head to head. Because I think what's going to happen right now is I'm going to gather... A couple of more warpins. Oh, I guess one more warpin. My charge is going to finish. I'm going to move across the map with plus one and charge finishing in a few seconds. And he is simply going to lose, I think. Look at this. Ah, he has Archons. But he has no battery. Hmm. Okay, let's give it a try. I had, we both have plus one. Now, this might be a close fight, I think, but I should be able to win it. Let's see. Good old 1A. Let's get the stalkers to kill the... Uh, uh, the immortals to kill the stalkers. Immortals target fire. Archons are super scary in this situation, not gonna lie. He has free warpen, more immortals. The free immortals are going to win, obviously. He doesn't have anything against the void right here. So yeah, he has traded too many of his stalkers on the other side of the map. And obviously no battery here means there's no defensive advantage other than the warpins, but I already had the superior Zerlet numbers. He, had, he actually had plus two uh, finish in the middle of the fight. So yeah, I think the biggest mistake was just trying to trade out the stalkers here for pretty much nothing. Well, not for nothing, obviously, for a big portion of my army, but it was just too much.
All right, and that's going to be it for today's episode of the Protoss 101 Challenge to Grandmaster. I hope you enjoyed the games. Let me know in the comments section how you liked them, and I'll see you on the next episode of whatever I upload. Have a great rest of the day. Take care, and bye-bye.